I have been there where I overpacked and I had a suitcase full of stuff that I couldn't wear, that didn't match, that didn't go together. First thing are these loafers. They were $14, which is a bit much for a thrift store, but they look like almost brand new. I have been looking for something almost identical to this to put on our bathroom counter. So the first thing I always do before I pack for any trip and I see what the temperature is going to be. This is like my catch-all bag. So cute. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Gabrielle and today we are going to be packing for a little weekend trip and I kind of just want to show you quickly how I do it, what my thought process is behind each piece that I bring because I have been there where I overpacked and I had a suitcase full of stuff that I couldn't wear, that didn't match, that didn't go together and it really stressed me out once I get to the location that I'm going to even if it's just to hang out with family because I want it to be a quick and simple process that doesn't take up much time so that I can spend time with people that I love and do fun activities and see my family and not have to spend 20 to 30 minutes thinking oh my gosh none of this goes together none of this looks right so I've got my suitcase here so we are going to pick out some items together before we get started I actually want to show you a quick thrift haul from today because I got some really cool stuff so let me show you so what is cool about this is I kind of had a few of these pieces in mind and then I just stumbled upon them first thing are these loafers they were $14 which is a bit much for a thrift store but they look like almost brand new so they're really cute and then I got these little baskets for two dollars each they are great for like storing skincare and stuff like that underneath the sink and then I got these black pants that have like a checkered pattern on them and they're from Kohl's and they're like straight legged but they are so cute and they were only nine dollars originally 45 so great find then I had been eyeing a laundry basket because I feel like I always throw my laundry on the floor and that's so gross so I found this cute little laundry basket for $4.99 so I thought that that was a great find. And last but not least is this stone container like for the bathroom to put like beauty products in or like, I don't know, trinkets, like hair clips or bobby pins, stuff like that. I have been looking for something almost identical to this to put on our bathroom counter. And it is Threshold Studio McGee. I don't know if you can, yes, yeah, Studio McGee. So, and it was only $6, originally $15. So I thought that that was a great find. So now we are going to pack together. Okay, so the first thing I always do before I pack for any trip is I swipe on my phone and I go up here and I see what the temperature is going to be in the location that we are going to for the weekend. So we are going to the town where my parents live. Whew, it's gonna be toasty this weekend. It is going to be 79 and 78 degrees, which is just amazing. So that means I'm gonna probably have to pull out my summer clothes, which I haven't done yet. I've been avoiding it because it stresses me out. Okay, it's like an hour later but I have some things pulled out on my bed that I'm gonna show you. Okay, so right here I have a dress for church on Sunday and this jacket to go with it. I have a pair of pajamas. I have two tops in case I can't decide for my cousin's birthday party tomorrow night. I have these pair of shorts and one backup in case I don't like the way these fit. And then I have this tank top for like running errands, going thrifting, whatever, because I know it's gonna be hot. And then these comfy jeans. And then I have this workout set in case we go for a walk or to like to the farmer's market or something like that. And then I have this belt and another one, some sticky boobs, underwear, and my socks. I always pack an extra pair of socks just in case I like step in something or get it dirty or like need to change for whatever reason. I found that that has been extremely helpful. So now I'm just gonna put everything in my packing cubes and do it with you guys. I think we need to drive my car because it requires tolls. The fastest way does. Two hours and 47 minutes. Are you on ways?
Okay, so I'm in my bathroom right now because I've got to pack up my shower stuff and like skincare. So I'm gonna show you that really fast. Okay, so I got my skincare and now I'm gonna get my shower stuff. Hello. The way I have my camera set up is literally so janky right now. But anyways, I have this bag and so I put my hairbrush and my blow dryer inside. So I'm also gonna put my beauty products, like my shower stuff in here. And then my makeup and my charger. This is like my catch-all bag. And then I'm gonna take that with me. So cute. And then my shampoo, which loves to leak everywhere, so I keep it separate. I keep it separate, I can't talk. That was a really cool story, babe. Yeah. Can you get the box now? Yeah. Are you recording that? Yeah. I didn't record the whole thing, I just said, I just recorded when I said, that's a really interesting story, babe. Where are my car keys? They're over there. Okay, so I just packed up everything and we put it all in the car. I had to take some stuff back to my parents' house from when we moved. We borrowed some of their boxes and like a piano box, but we jammed it all in the car. <laughs> and I have my stuff in the back. But anyways, thanks for packing for my trip with me. Love you guys and <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.